Howdy, this is Daniel with Raws and Regs, and welcome to a tie-dye tutorial. In this video, I am going to be doing a red, white, and blue shirt, and I'm going to be doing some uh, red and white stripes along the bottom of the shirt, and then a blue crinkle, a blue and white crinkle along the top of the shirt. And I have a 100% cotton shirt that has been soaked in soda ash. And to get my lines straight, once I make my, my pleats, I am uh, just kind of tightening the, the cotton to get it to stretch. And uh, I think... They're going to be fairly straight. Uh, so here is uh, the, the, the vertical lines going up and down the shirt. And I'm going to bind them with a rubber band. And even though the shirt is kind of wavy right here, that's just the rubber bands. The, uh, the lines along the cotton should stay straight. And once it's kind of uh, banded up, I don't really care if it moves around too much. And the rubber bands are, are there to keep the folds in place. So now that the vertical lines are there, I'm going to do a crinkle fold or a crunch fold on the top of the shirt. And I'm just using my, my fingers to make random... Uh, I'm, I'm bunching up the fabric just kind of randomly and trying to get it all about the same height and it's about a half an inch or so probably not more than an inch so here is the top of the shirt crinkled up now I'm going to put some rubber bands on it And then I'm also just kind of uh, putting some pressure on it as I rubber band it. And that just kind of helps the rubber bands tighten in the, uh, the folds. So it's fairly movable. Uh, so here is our, oops, one more rubber band. Uh, here is our folded uh, red, white, and blue shirt. Let's go dye it. I am in front of my dyeing tray, which is just a uh, refrigerator rack and a plastic tub and I have some navy and some red 
right in front of me and I'm going to start with the navy and both of these have been mixed with some sodium alginate which is a dye thickener so it will just kind of go into the fabric it won't spread as much okay to me I'm going to turn it over and put some on this side Now, I'm going to put some red just on one side of this, and I'm just kind of choosing this side. So, I'm going to make sure that my gloves are fairly clean, and I'm just going to uh, try and make sure that I just get the red right on the top of these folds that I just made. I don't want it to go really more than halfway down through the, the folds. And one way to think about it is uh, the amount of volume that the cotton is taking up, the dye uh, it will take about that much dye. I'm not sure if that's by weight. I I think about it more by by volume or the amount of air that um, this little spot can take up. It can take about that much dye. So if I want to go halfway through the fold then I'll just do half as much dye as I think the whole section of fabric will take. And if you're not right on it's okay. If you're a little bit over or a little bit less nobody's really gonna know. They're gonna see what you what you did and Normally there's so much stuff going on with the tie-dye, you, you can't really see everything. Most rainbow spirals will have brown in them. So now I'm just kind of going along. I've gotten red everywhere that I kind of want it to. Alright, this looks good to me. Uh, when I put it in the bag and let it sit, I'll have the red on the sitting on the bottom. I guess I can kind of put it that way right now. So I will let the, the shirt sit like this for 24 hours and then I will wash it out. So thanks for watching. Have fun dying. Howdy, I'm Daniel, and thank you for watching the video. Here is the opening of this red, white, and blue design that uh, I just filmed. This is right after the first washing, so it's a little damp. It will lighten up a little bit when uh, it's all dried up, but uh, for the most part, this is what the design will be. This is the first time that I've seen it. Not folded up and dyed. So, here you go. 
I think it looks pretty good. Thanks a lot for watching. Have fun dying.